I'm excited to introduce post-training of LLMs taught by Ban Hua Zhu, who is Assistant Professor of the University of Washington and also co-founder of Nexuslow. Post-training is one of the most rapidly developing areas of LLM training. Before a language model can answer questions or follow instructions, it is trained in two major steps. First is pre-training, where it learns to predict the next word or the next token, and then post-training, where it learns behaviors like following instructions or using tools or reasoning. In this course, you learn three common post-training methods. First, supervised fine-tuning, or SFT. Second, direct preference optimization, or the popular DPO algorithm. And finally, online response learning. In supervised fine-tuning, SFT, you begin with a pre-trained base model and then train it on pairs of input and ideal output responses. This helps the model learn to replicate the desired behavior shown in those examples. Supervised fine-tuning is particularly useful when you want to significantly shift a model's behavior, such as teaching it to follow instructions or adopt a specific tone or manner of generating text or improve in certain key capabilities. That's right, Andrew. In this lesson, you will fine-tune a small base model into an instruction-following model. Another post-training algorithm you will learn is DPO. In DPO, instead of giving one correct response, you show the model two answers. One that's better, or the chosen one, and then one that's worse, the rejected one. Using a contrastive loss function, DPO trains the model to be more likely to generate a better output. In the coding lesson, you use DPO for reshaping the behavior of a small instruct model. And you also learn about online reinforcement learning techniques, where the model generates answers, gets reward scores, and then updates improve. Rewards can come from human feedback or from automated scoring signals like math checking or software code unit tests. You learn about two algorithms. PPO, which is used in early versions of ChatGPT, and GRPO, which is a more efficient method that learns from groups of responses and was instrumental, for example, for training the DeepSeq models. In this course, you use GRPO to improve a small Quinn model's math skills. Post-training turns the next token predictor that might have learned a lot of knowledge from training on trillions of unable text tokens into a useful assistant that can follow instructions and perform specific tasks. I hope you take this course and gain a deeper understanding of this important technique.